In this lesson we are looking at what indices are and an index form is a way to write uh, numbers, uh, repeated factors in a short way. And when I say a short way I'm saying like a shortcut way so it's a lot easier to do. For example, we could write 4 to the power of 3. And what that actually means is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 again. So there are 1, 2, 3 of these 4s multiplied together. And because we have four of, uh, sorry, 3 4s, we make our power 3. So we can also say it is 4 to the power of 3. Now we can write this in this form, which is index form. Or we can write it this way, which is our expanded form. We can also actually calculate that one out. Now the trick becomes if we are using, say, an algebraic term, if we are using an x, for example, we can have it to the power of 5. Now we can still write it in index form or we can write it in expanded form. We'd have to say x times x times x times x times x. But we can't actually calculate it out on our calculator because we don't know what this x actually is. So if we're using an algebraic term, it can only be done in index form and expanded form, not an actual number if we calculated that out. So some things to be careful of. Right, number one, we have to be careful of writing neatly. It sounds a bit silly, but if you write four and your four does not quite look like a power at the top there, as opposed to that, we can't tell what it is and it might get really, really confusing. What happens is we start to think this four is a normal four and our handwriting starts to change it into some other number and we start to get confused. Another thing is the way that we pronounce it or say it, okay? We actually have to say to the power of. We can't say 4-4, four, four. that's something different. We can't say 4-3, we have to say 4 to the power of 3 or x to the power of 5. We do have those special ones where we can say x squared or x cubed but they're the only ones we tend to do that with. So we have to be careful the way we write and the way we speak.